everyone, it's Demonic Wolf, and we are back in Doki Doki Literature Club. Last episode, Yuri and Nasuki are fighting, and it's up to me to pick who I'm going to choose. I could pick Nasuki, which is the lolly, and then I could pick Yuri, which is the character that I'm liking so far, and then I could call for help from Sayori. But I want to pick Yuri because it did say whoever I pick is going to think more of me. So we got to pick Yuri. Let's see what happens. So, Nasuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm. I understand. Yuri. Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it. And it becomes... Something really personal. That's why Nasuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm... I'm sorry. Uh... But Nasuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Nasuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm. Nasuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Uh, um... Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayuri, so she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at your faces right now. Without warning, Nasuki snatches her own poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it into the trash. Nasuki... She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri ha had her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. Uh, everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after be being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. Thanks, Demonic. You're too kind. Oh, not a problem. I'm thankful to have you part of the club now. Er, it's nothing, really. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Nasuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So... Eh? What thing did Nasuki say? Uh, um, well, never mind that. I, I'm going to make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Demonic, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It, w it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Hmm. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems that everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Demonic, ready to walk home? Sure, 
Let's go. <laughs> Sayuri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Are we sure about that? Are we being true to ourselves? Sayuri, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Nasuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew! You know, Demunic, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun! Ah, <sighs> I guess. It looks like Sayuri still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayuri. I pat Sayuri on the shoulder. I, I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah. Let's do this. Oh, okay, so I have to do another thing. Ooh, all right. So let's pick Eternity. Let's choose a tone. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's choose Graveyard. Tragedy. Okay, that's her. Scars. Oh, got her again. Depression. Contamination. Forgive. Tenacious. Insight. Death. Nope. Was not the right one. Agonizing. Yes! Defeat. Nope. I need to look at all of them. Sadness. Portray. Sensation. Playground. Bunny. Color. Rose. Philosophy flying. What about philosophy? Yes! Determination pain. Nope, pain's her. So it seems like she's more into dark stuff, and this is more or less like like disaster. Uh uncanny? Yes. Uh disarray. Okay, it's more like uh, complicated words. So, versatility? Yep. So it's more like the, the most complicated words you want to use. Like vibrant? Yep. Unrestrained? Okay, so I'm understanding Yuri a lot more because they're more complicated words, not... Uh, simplistic words. Memories. Nope. That was wrong. Misfortune. Oh, nope, that is her. I guess, I guess, maybe I'm wrong. Anxiety? Nope. Okay, uh, this one, let's go ahead and go Heaven Sent. There we go, yep. So it's the longer, more, uh, appealing words. Another day passes, and it's time for uh, the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more confident here over the past couple days. I thought we were only... Oh, I guess it's been two days, yeah. Entering the classroom, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Devonic. Yo, Sayuri. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyways. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me and bu to buy a snack? No thanks, I'm good. Eh? Th that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Say Sayuri? Eh? Whoa. Why that all of a sudden? 
No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh-uh. So Yuri nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayuri. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought the snack before coming to the classroom. So either you're not hungry and wanted an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. <laughs> ah, you gold digger. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves the one option. Oh, ah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty, you pickpocketer. Ha 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 ha. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face was in her book, as always. Ah ha ha. I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri. Tell Demonic to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayuri. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is far... Er, and frankly, after pulling a mischievous stunt... Little stunt... No. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah! Did I just... I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh... <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You're right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution? That! <laughs> I was, uh, it did sound weird to me. Still, coming from you, Sayuri, I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> She's like a, an imp. Don't let her fool you. Sayuri knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club room before she even told me. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Nasuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayuri. <laughs> Plop! Kaya! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayuri in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow! What was... Eh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayuri so glances around. It, is this a miracle? <laughs> nope. Is it because I played my resti restitution? <laughs> what the? Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But... Then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. <laughs> N Nasuki, that's so nice of you. <laughs> I wouldn't say throwing a cookie at someone's face is nice. I'm so happy. Sayuri hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayuri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. <laughs> Sayuri so suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my young. <laughs> You're going through a, a lot over just one cookie. Nasuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Nasuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, 
Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> so Yuri gets out of her seat and goes behind Nasuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Nasuki reaches up to nudge Sayuri off of hers. Um, oh! Well, that's so mean. Sayuri suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Nasuki's cookie. <laughs> hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayuri trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayuri, eh? Nasuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyways? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend, after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyways? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Ah, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's super cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Demonic. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah. I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not at all. I chose to leave out Sayuri's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Nasuki will end up complaining to her anyways. It looks like everyone is already settled down. Sayuri so somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Nasuki disappeared into the closet. What the, why, why the closet? Hey, Yuri. Eh? Ah. I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, no. I was kind of just waiting for you. Ah, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. There's one thing that I can, er, if there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. 
I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts to her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm. Where are you two off to? Eh? We're just... Yuri was going to make some tea, so I suddenly realized how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. You sound... Huh? Okay. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Demunik in club activities? Eh, eh? My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmph. <laughs> then let's go, Demunik. Ah. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room, and I follow. Wow, there's some... Um, hostility going on. Some straight-up hostility. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so... Irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri. I think you... Did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but... It's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. To Munich... How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions, and we can't hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah, no, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Ah, uh, um, Yuri lifts her head. Demonic Wolf. I really like being friends with you. <laughs> Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyways. Ah, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Demonic Wolf, do you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Hoo hoo. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. And you noticed? I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided I would try to express myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Demonic. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Demonic, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? 
I wonder why that is. It's more... Er, it's most likely because my... Ah. Uh, my... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I kept hidden from Sayuri's candy radar. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our side. As if in sync. We assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer together. I can't see too well. Ugh. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri is always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now, I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little bit. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course! Yuri opens the book with both hands. Alright everyone, so we reached a good spot to stop it. We got to a new image, and this is where I'm gonna pick it up next time. But we're going to talk a little bit about what happened. So we jumped back in. We understood a little bit more what's going on with the club room. It's the third day we're inside the club room. And we did a whole little uh, event with the uh, letters and stuff like that. So that's really good that we did that because it progresses the story. And we leaned it toward Yuri once again. But we did see some interesting events happen. Such as... You know, Sayuri getting hit in the face with a cookie, which was pretty cool. And Monica stepped in and kind of judged both characters, including my character, saying that going to get water is a one-person job. Because I think she may be a little jealous of what Yuri has. It seems that way because when she entered the classroom and she was late, said she played piano, she looked at our character. So, there might be a little jealousy going on right now. So, with that everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. So, thank you all for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and let me know by hitting that like button. And if you want to become part of the pack if you're new here, hit that sub button and notification bell to know when a new video goes up. Also, do not be afraid to leave me a comment down below because all comments are well appreciated. And with that, everyone, I will see you all in the next video that I make because I'm Demonic Wolf and I am out!